Hello, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nadia Adam. I'm a Vedic astrologer and psychic medium. So today we are going to talk about the energy update between 20th of February until 27th of February, which means in the next one week. As usual, I will divide my explanation into several parts and the timestamp will be in the description box. So before we go ahead with the planetary change, etc., there is something going on which is quite interesting and everybody talking about it, which is Venus and Mars conjunction in the sign of Capricorn. All right. Obviously, if you go to the social media, people are talking it's conjunction in the Aquarius. It has to do with tropical calculation and our side here. <laughs> okay, so the Vedic calculation, it's already happening since you can say one week. 10 days-ish in the sign of Capricorn, all right? So what's going on here and what does that mean? Venus, Venus is a planet of passion, creativity, our art, and what are we love to do, all right? Something that we never get bored from is Venus, okay? And Mars here is our motivation, our energy, our fuel in order for us to take an action of whatever that thing that we love, all right? Let's say, for example, some people, they have um, um, th they have ability to make jewelry, all right? But how motivated they are and how much they have that power and willingness to go and do the jewelry, make it, design it and sell it to people then this is has to do with our mars okay where is our motivation so now we have venus which is again the planet of our creativity our passion love is conjunct mars here our motivation fuel okay it's a good combination that's mean we will start to follow or we will start to pursue what we like We'll start to pursue what we love. We may become more passionate towards the house that Capricorn is ruling in our chart. Maybe our desire to manifest stability, security in the house of Capricorn will increase. Okay. But the thing is that let's assume that um the capricorn in your chart is occupied by some planet okay let's say you have actually moon in capricorn you have k2 in capricorn i'm giving an example okay can be anything this combination comes to the personal planet okay it can be a bit sensitive placement because it may push us to pursue something without an actual calculation without an actual kind of observation or um, we will be drawn or carry out with our emotion all right because these two will kind of triggering the sign of cancer i mean really poor cancer every time just like cancer here get affected cancer is one of the most sensitive signs because it's connected to our moon is the governing of our moon yeah, that's when our mental and emotional state. So when something just touch and trigger that cancer house in your child, it will make you feel irritated or instable, insecure in some way. Maybe that's the best word to use, insecurity, all right? So it, it, when we are insecure, we are in not in our own element. We can do things, we can say things, we can act and behave in the way which we're not supposed to do, okay? Which can create some chaos, okay? Um, it's good placement. That means we all will have a motivation to create a structure and foundation in our life, all right? Because it's in the sign of Capricorn. But at the same time, we may get carried with our emotion and mental instability, which can lead to some destructive outcome. Okay, add on that, we already having Sun and Saturn and Mercury here. Actually, before that, Mercury will be entering into the sign of Aquarius, I think around 21st, tomorrow or after tomorrow. Okay, 21st of uh, February, Mercury will be transiting the sign of Aquarius. And then on 24th, we're going to have the full moon. So 
so many things going on here under the kind of roof of Saturn. Okay, if you notice that this is Saturnian energy because it's a Capricorn, and then we have here also is Saturnian energy because it's Aquarius, and hey, Saturn is actually sitting there. And who joining it? The sun, which is the enemy planet, right? So in some cases, it may indicate a power struggle, okay? You may feel either that people trying to control you, manipulate you mentally, not necessarily that I will use my words to do that, but maybe mentally or maybe also verbally, I will try to manipulate you. I will try to kind of use you on my own way. So everyone will feel kind of intimidated, sensitive, and uneasy to be around people. Because we have Mercury going on here. There can be an energy of being not effective when it comes to the, our communication and not really able to express ourselves properly. Okay? I always feel that Aquarius is much more complicated than Pisces. You know, Pisces, at least like, okay, this is the God realm. I know, I understand it. I just want to reach to God, reach to the higher power. But Aquarius, it's the energy that you will never understand what it's trying to give, okay? Um, is an air sign. That means, I mean, think about it. Air sign, that means it's moving a lot. It's changing a lot. I'm not going to rain in one spot for one, two days. Even if I rain one, two days, eventually I will move to another spot, right? Or I'm just going to fade away. The thunder will be done. It's the same thing. So whatever happening here between Sun and Saturn, it can indicate abruption, disturbance, and power struggle and opposition with whomever that significant person that playing out in your life right now let's assume that actually you're having quite sensitive play sensitive connection or some type of relationship at this stage with your partner this is can show abruptly something will just blast out okay let's say you kind of having bad days with your parents this is can shows that some big issue at home may happen so i think this full moon is not really the best but not really the best. But the thing is that it will give us enlightenment because it's Aquarius. It will give us extra information of what we're supposed to do. We will get some sort of epiphany, clarity from whatever that thing that may happen in the next few days, right? What we were supposed to do and what we can do in order for us to manifest a better life. Remember, the sun here I mean, in less than one month, right? It will move to Pisces, which the eclipse happened. Eclipse happened in two of the Ishtana houses and in two of kind of malefic signs, okay? Nobody gonna be happy when eclipse or something going on with Virgo and Pisces because both of them naturally governing and ruling the Ishtana houses, all right? So... I think we are reaching to the end of that period where we feel stuck, we feel stagnant, we feel like something just not right, but we don't know what's supposed to do about it. If you're feeling that, I guarantee you, from this full moon onward until we are having the eclipse, you will get the clarity, you will know what you're supposed to do. And the full picture will kind of show up between March and April. Okay, so you can say like this is like a cooking kind of period of what exactly the theme of your eclipse going to be. How your eclipse going to be? What is eclipsing? Okay, What is removed? What is add on in your life? You will somehow know it and sense it from this particular full moon. Okay, so um, this is quite interesting week, honestly speaking. But you better just like keep it low. Do not interact a lot. Do not react a lot even. Do not talk a lot. Do not... Just stand still. Stay cool, stay calm, and do not just do anything. I would say, okay? Just be in that stagnant kind of mood. Even let's say you have to decide about something or you have to take a decision about something, you just delay it until we pass 27. Okay, because most probably you will change your mind of whatever decision that you will take from now 
until 27. Okay, so that's it for this week. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for listening. And if you're interested to book a personal reading with me, you can check my description box. You will find my personal details, all right? Thank you and wishing you to have a wonderful week. Bye.